Hello guys, what's up? Here's Bayan again. In this video, we're gonna show you how to patch uh, and repair a dryer. So here we have a one two by four. Here we have the corner. We're gonna screw the dryer to the stud. So we're just gonna we're gonna cut this part up. That way you have wood in there. I'm just gonna show you now. Yes, is this a recording? <laughs> Just got cut more or less straight in there. It is not 100% straight, it's not a problem because we're gonna tape it. And this side, this side here, so we have a back, and we're just gonna. Gonna cut it more or less on the center of the stud. If you guys need something more, if you guys need a measurement, you can put there and use a piece of wood to be a little bit more straight. In this case, the stud is uh, 24 inches apart. this way and I will show you another way that you can do it like uh, if you guys just want to do that way you can measure the piece of 24 inches the dryer 24 by let's put 18 and 3 quarters I'm gonna be a little bit cut but no problem Okay, let's cut the dryer. Here's how you hold the tape and the knife. Usually I put my finger like that. Just, I just hold it like this. Slow. Little bit is like the end. Since drywall, all you need is just to, to cut the paper it would break so you don't have to put a lot of effort so this is just good enough to hold it and the measurement is just I just hold like that with this hand just I just hold the tape firm you don't have like to hold too tight otherwise you would hurt your skin in there so I just just hold it firm and run lightly on the dryer the alternative you can use the piece of wood or something straight, a level, mark both sides and cut it. Yeah, this is a T square, this is what we use to cut the board. Since we don't have a full board here, I can show you guys here on this door how it works. We just put it down the board. Yeah, and just cut it. If you need to do a horizontal cut, goes the same way. My favorite way is the way who spend less time, more time, uh, is time efficient. So, very much I just use uh, as much as I can. I just use the knife and the tape a little bit faster, but you just need some practice. You cannot just go like everything else. We cannot just go to start today and start to do it good today. Your cut might be crooked and all the stuff when you use the tape and knife. So we're just gonna go this way. They will have 18 and 3 quarters by let's do that way 24. And then dry oil is very soft, it's very much just the paper, and this is the brown side. Usually you use the right side to make the cuts. And then you're just gonna force this a little bit. Just, just cut the paper. 
it is off. And then you go the other side, just bend a little bit. Just anything. Cut. So this is how we go. We just can do something like that. Measure it and then you just can uh, hold the board and just mark it there like you guys can see on the end is all gonna be the same just three ways to do it that you guys can see it And then the, in case of this blade, we just break it. We have a, several places we can break it if it's, you hit a nail or screw something like that. And then we just cut in there. See, we have a screw right there, so I'm just gonna go again. Stop right there. Once we cut it, just come off, all right? Here we have a screw, I'm just gonna cut again to the screw. And here we have a, we're gonna remove this screw that way, a little bit easy. We have this nice gun, it works very good, nice and easy. There we go. Then we finish the cut. This one in here usually I like to, to clean it. That way it's just better for the tape. Either way, probably we need to cut a little bit more in there. Everything looking good. I just need to straighten up the cut a little bit. This one I'm just gonna mark again, as you guys can see. I use the board just to mark where I need to remove a little bit because this end here was a little bit wider, so I just cut uh, more or less. And this one I just Here you can see it's rough. We don't need to do much because the tape would cover it. You guys don't have to worry if it's a little bit too big or you need to cut more. Just cut a little bit more. There you go. Nice and good. So, here what I do, usually I, because we're gonna do the mud, we don't like to, this paper be out, so we just clean this board a little bit, like you see, nice and sharp. Just this part, so you have a little bit of uh, paper sticking out. I'm just gonna remove a little bit. Like this side here is very good, we don't need to do mud to it. Like you guys can leave it like that too. This side is the beveled edge. It's great, it's already finished in there. Okay. And this one here I'm just gonna I'm gonna clean this little thing before I put the board up. Usually it's easier to do before than to do after. So see I just gonna you clean this Whatever is sticking out, you see this here? Once we put the tape and mud, this would uh, build up a bit. This tape in there, like you can, uh, if you look in here, you can see the tape is out just a tiny bit. You can see, look, this is just, uh, this is just a little bit, but it will build up when you're doing a job. So if you want a nice straight job, 
that we just uh, move that a uh, little bit. I just show you again. Like you guys can see, you can see the difference. This part is cut, this one is not, so you can see it does stick a little bit out. Right, and then uh, you guys can use both hands, so just like there we go. Now we have a nice place to put the tape. It's just perfect. Okay, this uh, this piece of wood here, I'm just gonna try to push it a little bit more in because it's just sticking out a little bit, but it's uh, not so much, but I just don't want it to be on the way of dryer. Just be careful with the pipes. Okay, now we have it right and good to go. We're just gonna put this pre-cut board that uh, I'll show you just a little bit before. Board is in, like you can see guys, it's not too tight because the dryer you just don't need it very tight, just enough to fit in. And we use this Dewalt screw gun, great gun, and the screws, this is wood, we are use the Horsey screws. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. This one is a fine thread screw. It's good for steel stud. Like you can see, it holds better on the steel stud. This one is a coarse, so the coarse hold better on wood. So once you put in, it just goes straight in, and wood hold very good. So today we're gonna be use the coarse screws is what we're gonna be used today because we work with wood. So I put this one aside. I'm gonna grab some of the course right here and we just uh, gonna hang this board. So I just put some screws on this old dryer just to help it hold better because we never know if it's uh, holding good plus we did the cut. So this is the reason I try to, I put the screws on both sides. One screw there. Then I go There we go Yeah, this is ready to be taped So we just gonna work on the process of put the mud in here And finish it We're gonna use like fast set that way we could uh, put two coats in one day we just don't want us to come do the extra trip yeah we show you you see that the process on the next video the taping video that is just coming up very soon this is how this is how you do a, a dry oil patch repair a kind of not very small repair but is uh, nice and good like you guys can see we just put between the studs this is how to go Thank you very much for watching this video guys and see you soon on the next video. And thank you for your support, subscribe and we're gonna have great stuff coming up. So see you soon. Good job. Good job man. Thank you so.